Hey guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team video. Today's video is going to be a bit of a mix. I've got trading, investing, and some news in this video right here. Now, EA recently released an advert on Sky Sports. If you guys do watch Sky Sports, you'll have probably seen it if you were watching the transfer deadline day uh, Sky Sports show on today. And uh, EA basically said in this advert that uh, brand new want to watch cards are going to be coming to FIFA 17 on the 3rd of February. They also said there's going to be a new Scorbida Challenge where you can get a guaranteed pack for a Scorbida Challenge card that's going to be a want to watch player. So we've seen that. Also, there have been a lot of pictures circulating around Twitter of all of the cards which are going to be released as Scorbida Challenge cards. If you do want to see those, I'll leave a link down below to the tweet uh, which I have seen as a picture of all of the cards. And also, I'll leave a link down below to the video I did yesterday which was a video on the want to watch cards and basically how they work. Uh, you can potentially make some coins by investing in them and some good tips like that. So if you do want to go and check that video out there, link down below as well as a link to the tweet and also a picture of the uh, actual advert that uh, EA did release on Sky Sports. But today I'm showing you guys some really good players you can invest in for the Scorbida Challenge to hopefully make some coins or get yourself a one to watch card in your club pretty easily and pretty cheaply. And yeah, we're going to be kind of be speculating about what we're really going to get uh, as requirements for the Scorbida Challenge and what it's really going to be. Now, for those of you who haven't already checked out the image and the video that I already have done, then I'd recommend going and checking them out just so you get a rough idea of what the one to watch cards that are going to be released actually are because there's quite a few lower rated ones. There's going to be some silver cards and also some gold cards. So I don't think EA are going to be doing a really, really high requirement, maybe like an 85 or 86 rated team for a lot of cards which are kind of quite mediocre. There's a lot of cards between about 70 and 80 rated, quite a few silvers, some lower rated golds. And there are only a couple of high rated players like Payet, like Draxler. And also, guys, you've got to remember that these cards just have the normal stats of their normal base card, except a couple of cards like uh, Draxler and I think Payet, a few cards that have had informs already. But the majority of these just have their normal base stats anyway, so they're not really an upgrade. They only get upgraded if they get any informs on the game. So I don't think EA are going to do like a really big requirement. Currently, the only one we've got for the informs is an 84 rating with 30 chemistry. Now, the slight... Uh, kind of change recently that happened in the latest patch is that the normal glitch that people used to use the formula to get an 84 rating with two 84s, one 180 rated player and the rest 83 doesn't work anymore. So if you do want to see a video on the updated 84 rated formula to get the cheapest 84 rated team, then leave a like on the video and leave a comment as well and I will definitely get that video up for you guys if that's something you guys do want to see. But the requirements, I think it's probably going to be an 84 rated team just like the informed score bit of challenges. As I said, there are a lot of silvers, and the majority of these cards haven't been boosted, so you're just getting a normal card for a lot of these cards, and not all of them are going to get informed this year. So the investments I'd recommend making are going to be 84 rated players, but there are a few good tips that you guys can follow to help you make some more coins, and also, if the requirements aren't an 84 rated team, you're not going to lose out too much, because you can actually mix this in with your player of the month investing. If you haven't seen the video I did on player of the month, I'll leave an annotation in the top right corner of the video. Definitely do go and check that out, it shows the best investments and players who could potentially win the award. But you can invest in some English players as Deli Ali and Harry Kane are very likely to win the award from the Premier League who are high rated. So for example, you can go with people like, uh, you can go with Mata as he's in the Premier League. You can go with Joe Hart as he's English. You want to go with kind of a mix of players like that. You can go with people like Terry as well. So Joe Hart, he's a really, really good investment. You can get him right now for around about 1.9 to... Uh, Actually, he's gone up slightly in price uh, just because of the hype of this. But yeah, about two, about 2,000 coins is what you can pay for him right now. And if you can get him for about 2k, since I think you need like 8 or 9 84 rated players for the new school with the challenge formula, uh, it means 84 rated cards are going to go up massively in price to so probably 5 or 6k. So if you get people like Joe Hart, and if an 84 rated school with the challenge does come out, his price will go up massively. And also, you've got player of the month increasing his price. So if there isn't a school with the challenge that needs an 84 rating, maybe if it needs like three informs and no real kind of specific rating, something like that that no one really expects, then you can still sell these cards on for profit during player of the month. Uh, John Terry is another really good one. You can get him slightly more expensively, I think, um, than Joe Hart. He's about two point, what is he actually? He's gone up a bit. He's about 2.5k though, which is still not too much at all. And you can probably expect his price to double if it is an 84 rated team. Could even go up even more, so he's definitely a great one to go and pick up that. Also, you can get some of the cheaper 85 rated cards. Again, Premier League investments are the best way to go for this one. So you can get people like Claudio Bravo. He is around about 4,000 coins the last time I checked. Um, yeah, he's about 4K, so he's a decent one to get there. Granite Jack is a great one. I'll show you guys my club and some of the investments I've made as well um, for these. But uh, yeah, Granite Jacker is a player you can get for around about 2.5K right now. So he's a good one. Aaron Ramsey's a good one. 
loads and loads of 84 edge players and 85 edge players that you can get in the Premier League are very, very good. But also, I think special cards are going to be quite important because I think EA are going to do similar with the Inform Squad Builder Challenges. They will do a untradeable and a tradable version and the probably uh, tradable one only like two Informs. I think it's going to be the same as the Inform one but for school builder challenge cards, which are going to be one to watch cards rather than inform packs, if that does make sense. So I think it will be a pack that guarantees a one to watch card. And I think it actually is a 25k pack that's got three rare players in and one of them is a one to watch card. So I think it's going to be pretty similar to the inform school builder challenge when it comes to requirements. So I think a couple of informs are good ones to go with. Also, again, you can cover the same op options by going the Premier League informs. If you go with the cheapest Premier League inform on the market right now, which is Fernando Lorente, you can get him very, very cheaply for around about eleven or 12,000 coins. He's a great investment because not only is he a Premier League inform, he's also 83 rated, so he's relatively high rated for these score builder challenges. And overall, he's just a great investment. He's in the Premier League, he's Spanish, so he's got a good nationality. He could maybe go up for player of the month as well. And uh, yeah, he's definitely a great inform to pick up if you want to get a few inform cards. Also, Skirtle and Anyema are both great ones as they are high rated inform cards. Skirtle is currently around about 13. Uh, 13,000 coins, I think. Wow, his price has actually gone up quite a bit recently. His price has gone up to 17k, and uh, I picked him up for about 12k. I've, I've got about 10 of them on my transfer list, but nevertheless, 17k for an 86 rated inform is not too bad at all. So, if you get maybe a Skirtle or two, he's a really high rated card. So, also does cover if they do go maybe for like an 85 rated team, which I very highly doubt they do, but if they do go for a slightly higher rated team, then Skirtle is a great one there. So, get the 86 rated version of him. And also, Enyama is a decent one to go with, as he is, uh, again, a high rated inform you can get him for around about 15 16 000 coins something like that 85 rated inform is not too bad right there he's definitely a good one i would recommend picking up and then also you've got the november cards and all of those random ones so i'd recommend going with someone like to hood he's really really cheap you never know they may throw in a random one of these cards and if you can get them for near discard price if you can get them under about 11k or so then you should be good. I mean, these cards are really cheap, so it's no risk really. If they are included, you can make some profit because they will go up to like 30 or 40k, like they did during Footmas. And if they're not, then just keep hold of them in your club or sell them on for what you bought them for. So you can get some of them. Now I'm going to actually show you guys my club quickly. I will have a live stream out either before or after this video. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to get this out before I start live streaming at uh, 7 o'clock. But uh, if it is out beforehand, then check out the live stream for some more investing tips. And if, if this is out, um, before, no, if it's out after, I mean, if it's out after, then go and check the stream. I'll leave a link down below to that, and you can go and um, see some of the investments I made on there. But you guys can see my club here. We've got Bravo. Uh, I've gone with a few 84s from other leagues as well, um, just because I think it's just going to be an 84 8 team in general. Um, but uh, as kind of more no risk investments for you guys, because I don't want you to lose out on coins, then go with the Premier League ones. But if you do want, you can get some slightly cheaper ones. I mean, you can get players like Socrates and Pepe Reina uh, for a couple of hundred coins less than someone like John Terry. So if you do want to go with them, it's slightly riskier, but they are slightly cheaper, so you can make some more coins if they do get included. Uh, but yeah, these are all my 84s I've picked up here. Got plenty of them. Loads and loads of 84s, really. I mean, I've got a transfer list full of them that I will show you guys in a minute, but I've got a ton of 84s. People like Kane and Ericsson are really good as well because they cover the player of the month options. And also, I've got a load of informs and special cards, which I'll show you guys right now. Um, kind of a bit of a, of a club tour right here. I'm going to be doing a club tour video quite soon, though, because the main part of my club is untradeable, so I will have a club tour out soon. Uh, but I've got these cheaper kind of uh, cards right here, like Joe Ledley, the cheap November cards, which are always good. Uh, Dehoud as well got him pretty cheaply. Ryan got him cheaply. Uh, also, wouldn't, I, I, I would recommend getting maybe some out of the match cards if you can get them very, very cheaply. Some of the discard price informs uh, are, are always good as well, just in case they do go with the, the two informs for a tradable um, card right there. Um, these cheaper cards you can get, there are, there are quite a few for like 11 or 12k, which are always good to pick up. Uh, Lanzini's a decent one too, he's one of the slightly cheaper Premier League informs, if you do want to go with him, you could go with him right there. Congolos is, uh, is as well a decent one, as he is a Team of the Group stage card, and is by far the cheapest, so you never know, they may go with Team of the Group stage cards instead of informs, and he's a decent one there. Um, but uh, these kind of 83 rated informs that you can get really cheaply, um, Medeiros, Zayek, all these cards are really cheap. They're decent ones you can get just because they're no risk, their price is already very, very low. And if you can get any 84 or 85 rated informs, Hakan Chalanoglu, for example, and Yammer, all these type of cards here, they're all good to get. Skirtle, I mean, I was getting these for 12k, I'll show you guys my transfer list. And um, they, they should definitely go up a lot in price, so I'm pretty pleased with those investments I made a couple of days ago. 
And um, yeah, also I'll quickly show you guys my transfer list right here. Um, I don't know if I've sold, I've sold a few items there. Don't invest in 83s. Lots of people have been just because they think that um, 83s are needed for the Squad Builder Challenge, whereas with the new formula, they don't really work. But as you guys can see, Joe Hart is one I'm definitely banking on uh, his price going up. I've got a lot of them picked up in my club. We've got some Bravos. These are mainly League Squad Builder Challenge uh, investments, you guys can see here, for a Bundesliga Squad Builder Challenge and things like that. Um, as you guys can see, we've got Skirtle there for 13.5k. We've got Jonas, another Hart. We've got an Enyema there for 12k. He's like 16k now. Reina, Jonas, and uh, Adyuri are good ones, as they're the cheapest 84 rated strikers. I've uh, got loads and loads of hearts, another Enyema, we've got a uh, Terry right there, we've got Carvalho, we've got uh, Pedro as an investment, I think, for the uh, potential player of the month squad challenge. We've got Joe Hart right here, uh, we've got Kowiak, we've got uh, Thiago, Hart, Granit Xhaka, Hart again, Hart, Laporte. Laporte's quite cheap as well, 1.8k I paid for him. Uh, for a French player, uh, so potential uh, for other school builder challenges because of his nationality and also gets good chemistry to players like uh, Varane and other higher rated players like Ruffier too. Um, then we've got a load more Skirtles, 13.5k I paid for that, 12k for that one there and their prices have all gone up by about 5k. Lots of John Terry's too, getting these for about 2.3, 2.2k right there. And also got a couple of other informs like Sergio Asenho, got him quite cheaply, got another John Terry. These investments right here, they're guaranteed to go up in price. Ryan Shawcross is a nice one too because, uh, again, player of the month, he could potentially go up for that. And uh, he will also be very, very useful if it does require uh, maybe an 84 rated team with two informs. As he's a high rated inform and will fit nicely into the 84 rated formula. And then we've also got Mata who I got for 2k. And uh, Trippier is a decent one too if you can get him under about 15k as he also does cover player of the month. But uh, yeah, those are my investments I'd recommend getting Premier League players as they cover both one to watch cards and player of the month. And just get some uh, cheap players from other leagues as well if you do want. Get some higher rated informs like Skirtle. And you should be good. It covers a lot of different options. And uh, as I said, I think the requirements will be an 84 rated team uh, with uh, no informs for an, uh, an untradeable score with a challenge pack that gets you a one to watch card guaranteed. And then I think it will be an 84 rating with two informs to get a guaranteed one to watch card that is going to be tradable. So yeah, leave your opinions down below. What do you think the requirements will be? And also, guys, which one to watch card are you going to go and buy? Or which one do you want to pack the most? For me, it's got to be Gabriel Jesus. I can't wait to use this card on Ultimate Team. Five-star skills, quick, Brazilian, playing for Manchester City. Can't wait to try him out. But, so, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like. If this video has come out before 7 p.m. on Tuesday, then I will have a live stream out after this. So, come and check it out. And uh, I've got lots of live trading tips. I'll be doing some scoreboard challenges. If not... Uh, if you're watching this after then, then go back on my channel. I'll try and leave a link down in the description to the uh, actual live stream. Go and check it out because I'll be doing lots of investing for the School Builder Challenge, giving you guys some extra tips uh, on that video right there. And any, any new news that comes out as well, transfer deadline day, lots of good stuff on the streams. Uh, so if you guys don't normally check them out, then I would definitely recommend checking the one that should be out hopefully pretty soon. But yeah, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.